worked on our app, I think we're ready to publish it and get it tested by other peers and others in the team. But before we do that, let's just have a think about the data again. We'll go back to the Business Objects tab and look at the department table. On the Overview tab, you'll see that there's a checkbox that allows us to say that this BO contains application setup data. So this data will be copied into our live environment. Let's set that for both department and location. OK, and now we're ready to go to the Visual Builder main menu. Find the app we're working on. And publish it. Publishing in Visual Builder consists of two stages. So the first stage, called Stage, is a testing environment. We've got two options when we're deploying the application to Stage. We can stage it with a completely clean database plus the application setup data, which of course in our case is the department and location data. Or we can populate it with the development data, in which case we will also get the employees' data into our stage environment. And that's what we want to use for this demo. So we'll select stage. And now you'll see that the app has moved to the stage. If I select that, what I'm getting here is a complete URL that I can provide to the team so that they can test and work with the app. So let's make a couple of changes just to test it out. We select Sherry and we'll pop her into the IT department. Save that data. And just to check that, let's go to the Stats tab. And we now have two employees in the IT department. Once testing is complete, you're ready to publish the app. So again, we go and at this point, we'll publish it, the second stage available. We have the option to include the data from stage or publish the application with a clean database with the application setup data. For our demo, we'll actually include the data from stage, but very often you choose to publish it with a clean database. So let's publish the application. And now we have the live URL to provide to our end users. And when you're ready to work on a new version of the app, you could create a new version. Congratulations, you've just published your first Visual Builder application.